Today I'm going to be making my lazy guacamole. I have all the time if I'm in a rush and I just need something quick to grab for lunch. So it's really really simple and all you need is an avocado, I've cut mine in half already, some rye bread so it's much better for you than normal sliced white bread, some tomatoes, salt, lime, garlic and some cayenne pepper if you want to spice things up a bit. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to get the slow now the avocado. So you just get a knife, you whack it in and twist and it should come out like And then just scoop the avocado into your bowl. You want like a nice kind of wide rimmed flat bowl so you can squish it out. I'm just going to get a spoon scoop it out into the bowl. I'm going to add a bit of salt to the avocado, so it kind of flavours it a little bit more. And then we're going to add the juice of a whole lime. You're just going to get a fork, stab it in there like that, and then just squeeze all the juice out. Try not to squirt it everywhere. <laughs> and try to avoid the pits as much as possible. So this, what the lime does, if you put the lime on top of the salt first, what it does is it dissolves all the salt so you don't get big lumps of kind of salt and then the rest of it is kind of not really flavours them. So if you just leave that to kind of infuse while you chop up the garlic. So I'm just going to use one clove of garlic because you don't really want nice raw garlicky breath the rest of the day if you're having this for lunch. So you just get one clove and then get the back of your knife and then just bash it like that. It should come out all kind of crushed. You can just peel it away, just like that. Now I'm going to try and chop this really, really finely so you don't get big lumps of garlic. Big lumps of raw garlic is probably not really a good thing, but I love garlic, so my boyfriend kind of has to part up with me. <laughs> so I'm just going to chop it up, just crisscross on the knife, just like this. It's the easiest way to do it, I find. And the bigger the knife, the better. And then just pop it in the bowl. Now what you need to do is you need to get your fork that you use to juice the lime and then just squish the avocado with it. The ripe the avocado, the easier it will be. And it should just kind of look a bit like green mesh. So I'll show you once it's all kind of mixed in together. Now I do like adding tomatoes to my um, guacamole but you need to add the tomatoes after you've done the squishing otherwise it'll kind of turn out a funny colour and you don't really want to squish the tomato, you want to have nice big chunks. So mine just kind of looks like this. It's kind of a bit lumpy, the lime juice and the garlic all kind of mixed in. Now I'm going to add some tomato. So I'm going to use about half of this tomato. I don't want loads because otherwise it will be kind of more of a kind of salsa than a dip. And you want to dice it quite finely, this tomato, so this will cube. So I've kind of cut six ways across the tomato. It's kind of down like this six times. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same but going um, horizontally. The best thing is to have tiny little cubes of tomato and that way you get a nice little sweetness to so the kind of sour lime and, and creamy avocado. It's really, really nice. I'm just going to put that in there and then just mix it all up together. Now if you like a bit of spice like me, add a bit of cayenne pepper or some paprika. I think cayenne pepper is better because it's a bit more kind of fitting with the Mexican kind of theme. So I'm just going to add a couple of pinches. And then just stir it all up and it tastes. Mm. Really limey and lovely and zesty. Now, with this lazy guacamole, you will have messy hands by the end of it, so don't forget to go.